The Five Disengagement Triggers It is common for a narcissist to get rid of you. This is often referred to as the discard. I use the term disengagement and it is more accurate because that reflects the fact that we will come back unless you prevent that happening through total no contact. When we disengage from you, there are five triggers that cause this. Disengagement can apply to any appliance in our fuel matrix, tertiary, secondary, or primary. Disengagement occurs the most with primary sources, either non-intimate primary, family member or friend usually, or most common of all, the intimate partner primary source, the IPPS, husband, wife, partner, cohab, boyfriend, girlfriend. Secondary sources such as friends, colleagues, family members, or intimate partner secondary sources such as a mistress, booty call, side piece, someone you're having an affair with, they can also be disengaged from, although that is more unusual. Disengagement occurs most often with the intimate partner primary source, but the principles, the triggers that I'm going to describe to you are applicable to all appliances in the fuel matrix. The seduction of you, of course, particularly where you become the intimate partner primary source, is mesmerizing, and as part of its allure, we will, of course, tell you why we chose you with a thousand different sensual sentences. Some may seem over the top, others make sense to you, but either way, you are giving the basis of understanding why we have been drawn to you. We do not tell you the real reasons why we chose you, because of course the lesser and mid-range narcissists don't know the real reasons, and the greater and the ultra will not give you the real reasons, even though we know them, because to do so would be to transfer power to you. Devaluation takes place in two ways. For secondary sources and tertiary sources, it is a corrective devaluation, the equivalent of a slap over the wrist, and I will be telling you more about those in a separate video. The sustained devaluation is the one that many people are familiar with, and this is meted out against the intimate partner primary source. A period of time where the devaluation is torturous, horrific and unpleasant. You are unable to ascertain why we have suddenly knocked you from your pedestal. It is bewildering and confusing, and only serves to add to your pain. You may well have had some reasons hurled at you by the narcissist to explain why we're treating you that way, but they will not make any sense to you, and this is in effect by design through the narcissism in order to keep you confused, under control, bewildered. Reasons will be given, but they will not make any sense to you because they have been given from the narcissist's perspective and not from yours. Then, in some instances, not all, comes disengagement, or as some people call it, discard. And this leaves you sprawled in the dust, exhausted, bereft and shattered, with no explanation given as to why you have been thrown to one side as we stroll off into the sunset, walking away nonchalantly. Why has it ended so suddenly? What did you do wrong? Why have we not told you why this has happened? The pain of being rejected is magnified by the failure to often provide you with any explanation. Naturally, this refusal is part of the design of the narcissism. We, of course, feel no need to explain because of our sense of entitlement, our lack of accountability, the absence of emotional empathy. We are not compelled to give reasons, because in our eyes, driven by our narcissism, you deserve no reasons at all because you have failed us. We offer no information for you to consider and process, because, and certainly amongst the lesser of our kind, they don't know themselves why it has happened, why it has ended, but it had to. This is the way it has to be. 
Invariably, where you're dealing with a lesser or mid-range narcissist, you are given no reason, or if you are given one, it won't make any sense to you. That is because the narcissist is feeding to you, unaware, an answer which isn't the actual reason why you're being disengaged from. The narcissism feeds the narcissist with a reason to give you, to give a degree of plausibility, although that varies with regard to the quality of the explanation given. But it still isn't the real, genuine reason why you have been disengaged from. The greater and the ultra will provide you with some explanation and it will sound entirely plausible, causing you to question your own behaviours, naturally blame-shifting onto you, but it still will not be the genuine reason why we've disengaged from you. Accordingly, when you are disengaged from, you'll either be given no reason whatsoever, because our sense of entitlement, lack of accountability, and absence of emotional empathy means we're just not compelled to do it, and we move on, or you will be given a reason, but it is one that won't make much sense to you. Where you're dealing with lesser or mid-range narcissists, the reason that is given to you is shaped by their narcissism. They think it is the real reason why they have got rid of you, but it's not, but they are unaware of that. The greater and ultra narcissists will give you a reason, again, which is not the genuine reason, and we know this, and we delight in tormenting you further by providing you with an answer which seems plausible that causes you to question yourself, to perhaps try and alter yourself and improve yourself. Either way, the failure to give you an answer or the provision of a false answer, whether aware or unaware, is a continuance of the assertion of control over you. So, what are the genuine reasons why the narcissist disengages from you? There are five of them. And where disengagement does occur, it'll be for one of these following reasons. Number one, you have wised up. You have worked out, usually as a consequence of some external assistance, that we must repeatedly provoke you and cause you to react. Often you think he or she has to create drama, has to create a scene, there has to be turbulence. You probably will not entirely understand why this dynamic is occurring. You may not realize that it's the assertion of control and the pursuit of fuel. You may not realize why it's so important to us, but you do realize that we want to make you react and therefore you reduce doing so, sometimes even halting it altogether. You have learned to respond in an almost neutral fashion, or you remove yourself, depriving us of, of fuel and also continuing to threaten our control. In response, we have applied our machinations in a harsher ma fashion, sometimes shifting to benign machinations, but you are still not taken in. And either way, this is done to increase the pressure upon you to submit to our need to control you and to cause you to react and provide us with fuel. We feed on our secondary sources and tertiary resources in the fuel matrix whilst we continue to try and get you back under control, but your resistance is substantial. You have not actually ended the formal relationship. You've not walked away in that sense. Perhaps you were not able to for financial reasons, children or the inconvenience of seeking a new home. But you have very much turned down the tap of providing fuel, maybe even turning it off, and you are continuing to threaten our sense of control. And accordingly, the lesser and mid-range narcissist instinctively sees this as a threat and a continued and substantial threat to control that is not going to change any time soon. The greater or the ultra will be aware of what is happening. We, of course, do not want to be put in this weakened state. We do not wish to apply the energy we need now in finding or embedding a new primary source to replace you to be used up on trying to squeeze small amounts of fuel from you. This is not efficient nor effective. 
because you have wised up to the fact that we have to provoke a reaction from you and you turn off in essence the fuel tap and thus repeatedly and substantially threaten our sense of control the narcissist decides to assert control either consciously or unconsciously by disengaging from you you wising up even though you don't know the complete reasons prompts your disengagement number two the new source is in place this is the most common reason for disengagement when we begin our devaluation of you we also seek out a replacement for you the lesser and mid-range narcissists do this unconsciously the greater and not greater and ultra do so consciously you have become a faulty appliance but we're not ready to get rid of you just yet because we need to continue to control you and extract fuel from you and therefore we shift to devaluation if we dropped you at the point at the end of the golden period we would have no replacement this is because when you're in the golden period we are not looking to replace you there is nobody waiting in the wings we need to have a seamless segueing of primary sources in optimum circumstances accordingly when you enter devaluation as the intimate partner primary source we then start to look for a replacement for you sometimes one is found fairly quickly sometimes there are a range of options as we juggle various shelf IPSS's and dirty little secrets sometimes it takes longer this seeking out of a replacement explains the repeated affairs and ultimately we have settled on your replacement again less from mid-range do this unconsciously greater and ultra consciously the person has been identified as an excellent provider of the prime aims and is now very much under our control he or she has been seduced and embedded into our fuel matrix we are intrinsically confident that they are functioning well pouring forth delicious positive fuel in significant qualities and in a reliable manner far better than you ever did we are able to gain character traits and residual benefits from them and anticipate the further provision of them should they be embedded as the intimate partner primary source we have been fueled by your negative fuel of course but now because we have a direct and fully functioning replacement waiting in the wings there's no need to keep you and therefore onto the scrap heap you go and we install our bright and shiny plaything we assert control over you by jettisoning you and therefore we get rid of you and disengage from you number three you're broken although it may seem during devaluation that we are trying to destroy you that is not actually the case contrary to popular and mistaken belief most narcissists don't actually want to destroy you and I'll be talking about that on another occasion yes devaluation drives you downwards through our repeated application of unpleasant manipulations but we don't want to finish you off in effect just like somebody's head we are holding under the water we will let you surface spluttering and gasping for air by way of a respite period before plunging you into the icy water once again and holding you under in and out up and down push and pull we have you bouncing along the bottom but not yet destroyed however sometimes the need to assert control and the extraction of fuel results in the narcissist going too far and the avalanche of abuse takes its toll on you resulting in you having a breakdown you are left numb barely functioning or even hospitalized as a consequence of this breakdown you provide us with no reaction any longer unlike the first instance I've described this is not by choice but as a consequence of our behavior breaking you knowing now instinctively for lesser and mid-range and consciously for greater and ultra that you although under control because you're not functioning you are not going to provide us with fuel you probably will not provide us with character traits and be unlikely to provide us with many residual benefits our absence of emotional empathy comes to the fore our sense of entitlement and lack of accountability is also prevalent and we show our callous nature by taking no interest in your broken state but instead we are forced to jettison you because you have malfunctioned we then have to shift our focus to embedding the new prospect that was being cultivated 
during your devaluation. That individual may not quite yet be ready to be installed as the primary source because of course you broke down at a point prior to their crowning and sometimes this can cause a problem for the narcissist. However, the third reason why we get rid of you by disengagement is when you break down and cease to function. Number four, major exposure. You may have worked us out, but your shock and horror at this, along with your desire to actually try to help and change, as means that you continue to provide fuel towards us and remain under control. You have the knowledge, but you are not using it effectively, so we see no reason to go elsewhere. You may be trying to tell other people about our terrible behaviours, but we've gotten first, launched a smear campaign against you, and maintained the facade. It is business as usual for us. Occasionally, however, you may just outflank the narcissist and manage to tell other people what we are like and how we have been behaving before the narcissist is able to do anything credible and effective about it. These people have been provided with incontrovertible evidence that you have obtained, admittedly usually obtained when dealing with the lesser and mid-range of our kind, and they take your side. There is an outpouring of scorn towards the narcissist. News spreads, and the people that the narcissist thought they could rely on turn their backs on the narcissist, or even worse, take the side of the victim. The facade is crumbling, possibly even shattered. You have stopped providing fuel, and indeed, many other individuals in the fuel matrix have done so. And the energy that is required to try and change people's minds, with no guarantee of success, is too great for the narcissist. And remember, this usually affects the lesser and mid-range narcissists with lower energy levels. This exposure in a major fashion of the narcissist, although unusual, can happen. And, rather than face the music and allow the narcissist to be destroyed through the imminent fuel crisis, the narcissism instructs the narcissist to get rid of you, disengage from you, saddle up and ride out of town in order to find a new place which hasn't been polluted by what you have been saying. Basically, your major exposure, if it gets in ahead of the narcissist, results in the narcissist being exposed, people turning against the narcissist, removing themselves from the narcissist, ostracizing the narcissist, which basically means the narcissist has to drop you and go and find pastures new. Five, major wounding with intent. You've brought your A-game on this occasion. Not only do you know what we are, the revelations that you have been provided with have caused you now to actually understand how you can hurt us, most likely. You have become a keen student of my works. You know to turn off the tap, but you know how to obtain the ultimate revenge against us, and your emotion-free criticisms and actions are launched at us. These criticisms wound the narcissist repeatedly, burning and hurting and threatening control with no way of obtaining fuel. The narcissist is being beaten. Again, this is more likely to happen against lower echelon, lesser and mid-range narcissists, but where it does, you have been schooled by somebody and applying those learned lessons, you are starting to attack the very pillars of the existence of the narcissist. The narcissist is under a serious attack. Control is being threatened on a repeated basis, fuel is being starved, and therefore fighting back is not an option because this would take too much effort and energy for little reward. Instead, the narcissist needs to flee and do so quickly. Accordingly, the narcissism instructs the narcissist to no longer exert a hold over you and instead assert control by disengaging. In effect, unconsciously, the lesser or mid-range narcissist recognizes that they cannot succeed at this moment in time and therefore a retreat has to be beat and promptly. It is highly unusual for this to happen with the greater narcissist, but if it were to do so, the greater narcissist realizes that victory cannot come at this occasion and therefore a retreat must be occasioned. You don't want to let us off the hook because you want answers and in effect you also want to punish us for what we have done to do, done to you. You are not going to end the connection. However, the narcissist cannot hang around however and therefore we must disengage from you as the narcissist has to be to retreat to enable the wounding to stop 
fuel levels to be replenished, new people to be placed within the fuel matrix, and then look to strike back at a later date when your guard may be down, where it's a greater, or through hoovering instinctively by the lesser or mid-range narcissist. Thus, those are the five disengagement triggers that you need to be aware of. And that is why the narcissist has dropped you. Most commonly, it is because you have been replaced by somebody else. Thank you for listening.